A year after trying to take his own life, a suicide survivor is now sharing his story in hopes of saving someone else. A warning, though, some details could be triggering, so watch with care. Valley News Team's Bailey Hurley has this important story. I think that was the most hurtful thing that I have ever done to anybody. Monty Eckern's story starts just over a year ago with a bad day at work. And that ended at the bar for what was supposed to be just one drink. That's after 10 years of sobriety. Eckern struggled with heavy drinking for nearly three decades. And he says his relapse had him feeling like a failure. When I got home, I picked up a gun and shot myself. Eckern's son-in-law later found him on the floor, prompting Eckern to be rushed from hospital after hospital for life-saving care before going on to spend five months in intense rehab. It's not worth it. You don't realize until something happens how much you need somebody. I'm not, neither one of us will ask for help, which is what got him into this in the first place. And that's what the Eckerns hope others take away from their story. There is help out there. Well, we all fall off that wagon occasionally, and you just got to get right back on it. They say they want others to know tomorrow is a better day, urging those struggling with depression, suicidal thoughts, or addiction. Instead of reaching for a bottle, reach for a friend. If, if we're going through hell, keep on going. Don't look back. Bailey Hurley. Valley News Live. Eckern has at least three more surgeries left to reconstruct his nose and lips. The first of those procedures scheduled for February. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, remember the national hotline is 988.